The girls and I spent all day making a cake for Sly. It's a really special cake, and it has a life-changing okay. surprise. Life-changing? Yeah. <laughs> And this, and this light. So well, how is this life changing? Can you bring the cake out? Because we, we want it to sit in the middle. Right. <laughs> Adam, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's okay. It's funny. Okay. This is a big build up of this cake. It better be good. Here it is. Look at the Can you check it out? Oh, no. It looks guilty already. Oh, my God. Hey, don't drop it on me, man. This slide's got oil skids. Oh, <laughs> Oh, God, this is so classic. Oh, no! That might be the worst cake I've ever seen in my life. Every year, Jennifer makes a traditional disaster in the shape of a cake. And this one looks like it was assaulted, literally. You want to make a police report and say, somebody beat up my cake. But on the side of the cake are these weird Chucky dolls and toys and things that just, they make no sense on my cake. What are these babies doing here? Dad, read this, read this. What does it say? It says boy. OK, what does that mean? Oh, no. Don't say, why? <laughs> what does that mean? Sistine? Boy. Sistine is going to have. No. <laughs> no. You're going to be a grandfather. Please turn these cameras off for a second so I can destroy this place. I'm going full Rambo, pal. Is that true? <laughs> is that true? I thought if we did it on camera, you wouldn't be so mad. Are you serious? Is that true? No. I love you. <laughs> Seeing the look on my dad's face, chef's kiss. Just okay. kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. I'll take him this round, coach. You're out of the will. You're out of the will. How do you feel? I can't take it. When we arrived in Philadelphia, I wanted to go to Victor's Cafe, which is AKA Adrian's restaurant from Rocky Balboa, Rocky Six. You remember this place, honey? Yeah. You do? Thanks for coming by. I appreciate yeah. it. People ask me, what is your proudest moment? I'd say Rocky Balboa, Rocky Six, because no one wanted to make it. So it was a really big, big challenge. And that restaurant seemed to be like the epicenter of what the heart and soul of that film was. So I wanted to go back there with the heart and soul of my life, my family, and just experience that once again. This place is so cool. I feel like I'm traveling back in time. You yeah. are. But we're missing one. I feel yeah. so sad that Scarlett's not here, because I don't think she's ever been here before. I know. I don't know what her problem is. Yeah. This is a big moment for us. It's know? a huge moment. Yeah. I just wish we were all together. Same. I think we should disown her. <laughs> no. Once and for all. You got to see upstairs. You got to see it to believe it. I do want to see it. And yeah. I remember saying in Crete, that's where I should live. Go, oh, no. I'm telling you, that's where a widower who all he has is this, mm -hmm. who cannot forget his wife, would live here. Yeah, that's he true. He has nothing. Yeah. It's actually a good point. Yeah. So I thought he'd be coming downstairs, upstairs. I know, it's great. Your bedroom up there, yeah. It would yeah. be amazing. It's really cool. It would have been cool. What is it? Oh my god, look at this hair! Scarlet! I'm so happy you did it. Okay, good. Hello, baby girl. Can I join? Yay, Scarlet. How are you? This is the greatest surprise ever. I'm so happy you did it. The cat in the hat just popped up. Is this seat taken? Yes, <laughs> Glad you're here. My baby, she shows up. I'm so happy to see her. She made the right decision, so I'm glad she changed her mind and she came. Well, I am so excited yeah. you're here, baby. Now we're whole again. Yay! I think it's time for you to quit school and hang out with us. I know. No, just kidding. I know you Who love college. Love, I love school. You do? Yeah. I've learned so much and I've grown so much from it. Where's Dom? Oh, he went to um, go pick up something he wanted to show Louie. Oh, Louis. fun. It's a surprise. No way. Oh, it's probably a tiger or something. <laughs> tiger? Oh, wow. Hey. How are you? 
That's insane. We got the big cat out of the shop. This is gorgeous. Does it look good? She looks so good in it, Sly. Thank you. Do you love you know? this car, Louis? Oh my wow, God. this is insane. The colors are so Here, get in. This is a side of Sly I've never seen before. He really wants Louis to get to know him and him to get to know Louis. They seem like they're good buddies already. Yeah, yeah. These, these cars, I feel like old cars, the seats are always more comfortable always. than new cars. These seats are meant to like, like, go to sleep in. Is it hard to drive being so long? Yeah. It, it's not easy. Take it around the track? No way. It would explode. No way. It's been in this shop forever. This is like an ongoing What project. year is this, honey? 59. Nine. Why'd what? you choose yeah. 59? 59 is the quintessential Cadillac here. A distinguished man drives a Cadillac. <laughs> well, I just ended that theory. <laughs> you just ended that? Yeah. Theory. OK. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. Get up there, baby. OK, come on, girls. Look what awaits you. A classic checker yellow cat. Where do you find this stuff? I know people. I wanted to do a surprise for the girls, so I was thinking, what can I do? Take them on a tour of the haunts that my brother and I used to roam in New York City. Girls, you ready for the tour? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. This is where it is, honey. This is where my brother and I lived in the early 70s for like $80 a month. This is so fun. Now, you see this hotel? Yeah. yeah. That's where your dad worked at the deli where he got fired. It no. was called the Dover Hotel. Oh my gosh. And my step parents had an apartment there. Of course, they never let us stay there. This theater was called the Coronet Baronet Theater. This is where Rocky premiered on the East Coast. That afternoon, we went in there, they had a sneak preview, and I'm sitting there with your dad, and people started walking out. He was devastated, going, oh my god, it's a failure. That night, when it opened, you could hear the cheering out on the street no. from inside the theater. And that's Sly and I in this theater, wow. Rocky. That was the last moment of an anonymity. Is that the word? I don't know. This. And an anonymity. And it. What's wrong with me? I think I did get hit too much. This is so cool. Very cool. Isn't it wild? My dad would tell us a little bit about his New York, but it's so different when you get to actually see it in person. And it is so great that my uncle took it upon himself to do exactly that. Musa, musical legend, Frank Stallone. Frank Stallone. Frank, Frank, sir! What are you talking to that guy for? Ah, Anna. Hi. Got a little surprise for you guys. You're going to come with me two weeks in Italy. The Stallones are going to Rome, baby. Bottles of wine. There's going to be pasta for days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ciao, Bella. Let's go. Hey, brother. We pack our bags and head back to the fatherland. I'm the only one that does speak Italian. I went to Gioia del Colle, where my father was born, in 1981. And so I can take them on the tour where it all started. This is going to be such a special treat because we're going to take all of his family and get everyone together for this huge family reunion. I don't know how I feel about this. But it is definitely going to be interesting to meet a lot of blood relatives that are strangers. We have second, third, and fourth cousins we've never met. They have children we've never met. They have animals we've never met. Start packing. I'm so curious. I know. I'm a little nervous only because it seems like a lot. It's like, oh, you have 100 new relatives. It's like, whoa. I've never really met any relatives still in the same town over 100 years. So this is very exciting. Sly connected his roots. We met the family. But now, unexpectedly, 
We've been invited to an honorary citizenship ceremony for Sly and Frank. We get to meet the mayor of Joya de Cola, where Sly's grandfather had a barber shop and where he had his home, which was literally a stone's throw away. Okay, let's go. When they said they're gonna give me an award for coming from a town, your ancestors, and you are now an honorary member of that town, and you've never been there before, and you see 10,000 people and you're in front of your daughters, that's a different kind of award. That's acceptance from another culture that you're one of them. Yo! I am so proud to be part of such beautiful, strong people. Di far parte di una popolazione così bella e così forte. A hundred years ago, my grandfather left this city, and this was the key to his barber shop. Earlier today, I was stunned to receive a key. I mean, a key <laughs> this big. It is indeed the original key, open which the would pool. open the barber no. shop. That belonged to my grandfather's barber shop when he locked it up for the last time and left it, I guess, with the landlord and came to America. Thank God he locked up and went to America. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. My grandfather was brave enough to make that journey. And because of that, I am here today with my family. I'm sure in his wildest dreams, he never thought that that moment would happen. I'd be in his hometown in front of thousands of people with the key to his shop. That means so much to me because the chain has not been broken. My internet is going to be happy. Right near the bedside is a little thing with pills. Yeah. Hurry, baby, hurry, hurry, oh. please. Bedroom, bedside. Did he say bedside? Hurry to the start of the room we left behind before you would get to <laughs> What is going on? Seeing Louis, my body froze. I felt like I was in a fever dream. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I've never had someone I love surprise me like this. It completely just made my heart want to explode. Hey, what are you doing in my bedroom? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, bro, good to see you. Mission accomplished, right? <laughs> you guys look great. Well, she was not expecting this at all. Do you have any idea? No idea. Seeing Scarlett, see Louie out on our balcony was priceless. She literally had a loving meltdown. I mean, this is it, unabashed young love. This is what we all went through before we became a little jaded. This is the pure thing. I went, damn, oh. Oh, no, no, you're too soon. What are you doing? You've always said, last time we were in Rome, I'm always working, not romantic enough, this and that. When in Rome, do as the Romans. So I say, we take a Roman shower. <laughs> a romantic bathroom night? And I'm looking around going, there's like 10 other people in this room. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not serious. You've got to be kidding. Hold on, Check hold it on. Out. Have you turned around? There's a cameraman right there. You think I'm really? I, I really... Even better, we can show the kids how it's done. Do you really think? <laughs> Don't be I'm shy. I'm in, incredibly shy. First of all, my makeup's already running it off. It is a little My shady. hair is going flat, <laughs> and you're going to burn me in there, OK? You steaming vegetables or? Yes. So that was negated. Seriously. Are you saying this is not happening? This is definitely not happening. Okay, this is out. the most unromantic. I've never been so insulted. I'm out of here. If you That's were going to bake a potato, you can stay in here. 
Got a little surprise for you guys. <laughs> What's the surprise? Keep your eyes looking down. Okay. <gasps> My buddy. Oh, no. My good friend. Hello. Is that a donkey? Look at that cute. Isn't that great? This is my biggest surprise yet. What is wrong with you? Nothing says love like donkey. We are not taking the donkey to Florida. We have no room for the donkey. Look at his face. Uh -huh. come, on, come on, come on, come on. Are you changing your mind? I said no. Now I feel like a real ass. <laughs>